Hello friends and welcome to this next video. We are going to discuss a very quick review about the numerical based MCQs which we are which we expect to get in our PG entrance exam. So let's start with this part one section and let's have a look at few of the numerical based MCQs. MCQ number one. Screening of patients was done by a civil hospital using a new approved test X. It is seen during the course of time that most persons who tested positive, most persons who tested positive with the test were actually free from disease. So the problem that question is saying that the person who tested positive were actually free. That is patient were healthy and they were by chance tested positive. So this question is also absolutely talking about what about the false positive. Tested by the gold standard investigation, which of the following is true for the test? So let's have a very brief review. You already must have done it during your chapter on screening of disease that this is your table. So you can just remember that this is the table we are talking of. I'll just take it on a new sheet. So this is a table. On this table, on the left side, you have the disease plus, you have the disease minus, the test plus and the test minus. So I hope you remember this is the true positive, the true negatives, the false positive and this is the false negative. So what are the things you need to remember? You need to remember sensitivity is given by the formula true positive divided by D plus. What is D plus? That is true positive plus false negative. So remember true positive divided by d plus is what is sensitivity on the other hand specificity is given by the formula true negatives divided by d minus true negatives divided by d minus on the other hand if you look at the table horizontally now that this is the positive predictive value the ppv the positive predictive value it is given by the formula true positive divided by s plus or the negative predictive value is given by the formula true negative divided by all test negative. What is test negative? It is consisting of two things that is false negative and the true negatives. So I hope this is the basic thing that you need to remember. In other words, I have also talked to you in my uh, video lectures and I have also talked to you in the classes that we conduct that you can also look at the table like this. You can look at the table like this, that this is the table. So you tell me what is this divided by this? Can you tell me even if I don't label, I want you to just hang on with me and take a concept over here that what is this divided by this. So if you see on the screen, this divided by this is given as sensitivity. If I take this as D plus, the D minus, the test plus and the test minus. What is this divided by this? This is specificity. What is this? Again, true positives divided by the total tested positive that is positive predictive value and what is this divided by total tested negative negative predictive value you also should be knowing that the false negative divided by the d plus false negative divided by d plus is what is the false negative error rate and you should also remember the false positive divided by the d minus false positive divided by d minus is called as the false positive error rate so these are the six things you need to remember. Everything is in percentages or it is in proportions. If you understand this, let us come back to this question and have a look at this question now. So if you look at this MCQ, screening of test was done by the civil hospital using a new approved test. It is seen during the course of time that most patients who were tested positive were actually free. That is possibility of false positive. So which of the following is true? low sensitivity low specificity low reliability low accuracy please remember that mcq golden mcq for you high false positive please remember high false positive could be due to three things it is it could be due to ring point number one it could be due to low specificity point number two it could be due to low prevalence and point number three please remember it could be due to high sensitivity so if you remember these three things high false positivity could be used to due to all these three things in your mcq remember please remember the first thing you need to mark is low specificity if low specificity is not there in the option you go ahead and mark low prevalence if low prevalence is not there in the option then you're supposed to mark high sensitivity so that's how we proceed with the false positivity so let's take on the mcq number two the positive predictive value for a new test for breast cancer is 75 percent which means what 
which means 75% of the total diseased will be tested positive or 75% of the total healthy will be tested negative or 75% of the tested positive will actually have breast cancer or 75% of the total tested negative will not have breast cancer. What do you want to answer over here? So let's have a look at the box that we have already made. If you look at the screen on, you know, on the screen, you can see what is the sensitivity, the specificity, the positive predictive value, the negative predictive value and the false negative and the false positive error rates. We had already made this. So now I'm going to repeat the options and I'm going to highlight the answer in front of that. So 75% of the total disease, total disease means D plus, 75% of the D plus will be tested positive. 75% of the total disease will be tested positive, true positive, true positive divided by the D plus. This is what is sensitivity. This is what is sensitivity. 75% of the total healthy, 75% of the total healthy will be tested negative. This is what is total healthy D minus will be tested negative. That is true negative. This is what is specificity, right? So option number C, 75% of the total tested positive will actually have breast cancer. This is what corresponds to the positive predictive value. And this is your best answer. This is your correct answer. 75% of the total tested positive will actually have breast cancer. This is what this question was asking right out of the total tested positive how many will actually have breast cancer i hope you understand the answer is a positive predictive value option number c best corresponds here next mcq in a study to evaluate a test as a screen for presence of disease 235 out of 250 that's an important statement for us so we take down 235 out of 250 people with the disease had a positive test had a positive test so 235 people out of 250 people with disease had a positive test and 600 out of 680 people without disease so this is in healthy population 680 were healthy population out of them 600 people had a negative test and 250 were the disease population out of which 235 had the positive test so what does this table mean this table means that total disease were 250 total healthy were around uh, 680 out of them 600 were tested negative out of 250 235 were tested positive this is what the table has given us so whenever you look at the mcqs like this to reach the mcq to be able to answer it, you need to just solve these questions mentally using mental mathematics one or two times. Once you have the concept of the box in your brain, then you don't need to write down in with the pen and paper. So just have a look at this MCQ again. Close your eyes. Just listen to me. In a study to evaluate the test of screening for presence of disease, 235 out of 250 people with the disease were positive and 600 out of 680 healthy people were negative. That makes sense. Based on this data, the specificity of the test would be. So specificity is what true negative divided by total healthy answer is direct answer 600 by 680. You don't need to bang your head anywhere. The answer was given in front of you. Specificity is 600 by 680. That is the true negative divided by the all healthy right so i hope you have taken the concepts when with a you when we discussed about screening of disease in the classes or in the video lectures and those concepts should be helping you so remember that total out if the question says out of total disease think of sensitivity if the question says out of total healthy think of specificity if the question says out of total tested positive think of ppv if the question says out of total tested negative think of npv that's the best advice i can give you for solving these questions on sensitivity and specificity let's have a look at another question a gynecological oncology research institute isolates a potential tumor marker for endometrial cancer a large mental center study is then performed to evaluate the serum levels of the tumor marker in females with or without endometrial cancer the following curves are generated Clinical researchers decide to use the tumor antigen to develop a confirmatory test for suspected during preliminary cutoff for positive negative was set at point A. So now the question is starting. The cutoff is at point A. Point A is my cutoff. So if the cutoff is moved from point A to point B, 
the specificity of the test will change in what direction so if you recall that if this is your cutoff if this is your point a and this is the cutoff what are these beyond this these are disease right that is what is happening you can see that the disease and the healthy so beyond a point you have the disease people right so if this is the healthy population and the cutoff is here, what are these people? True positive, true negative, false positive, false negative. Of course, because of my cutoff, they are classified as disease. So therefore, we will label them as false positive. So if you move from cutoff A to cutoff B, what is going to happen to the false positive? The false positive will decrease. So if you remember from the table we have already done that if the false positive will decrease, what will increase? You remember what was the inverse of false positive? Please remember that specificity and false positive. Specificity and false positive is in inverse relation. False positive is in inverse relation whereas sensitivity, whereas sensitivity and false negative is in inverse relation. So if the false positive increase, the specificity decrease. If the false negative increase, the sensitivity decrease and vice versa. So this question is saying you that by chance the false positivity will decrease. If the false positive decreases, the specificity has to increase. So that's a direct answer for you. The specificity will change in what direction the specificity is going to increase. Option C is my best answer option c is my best answer over here next mcq the sensitivity of a new investigation for hiv is 80 percent and the specificity is 90 percent the prevalence is 10 percent what is the probability that a person tested positive what is the probability that a person tested positive to the investigation is actually diseased what do you mean by this this means this corresponds to sensitivity, specificity, PPV, NPV, FNER, FPER. What do you want to say? The prevalence is this. What is the probability that a person tested positive is actually diseased? What are the chances that a person who is tested positive is actually diseased? So you remember this. What is this? This is the positive predictive value. The chances of being diseased if the test was positive out of the total tested positive how much is the chance that a person is actually diseased is known as ppv so this question is asking what is the probability of having the ppv on two separate occasion screening events so that's a that's a two-step mcqs so whenever the question will ask you to calculate ppv or npv you need to do the following numerical so what you do over here is you make a table like this step number one is take a random number in your brain i usually take it as 100 so whenever i get this question i usually take a build a box in my brain and i take a random number as 100 so what is the d plus and what is the d minus step number one is use prevalence to find out the d plus so prevalence in this MCQ is given as how much? The prevalence the MCQ has given us is as 10%. So if this is the 10% is the prevalence, so of course D plus is 10. And what is D minus? Of course, the derived answer is 90. Simple. On the other hand, you have the test plus and you have the test minus direct. So step number two is use sensitivity to find out the true positive. How will you find that? Very easy. You take sensitivity is equal to true positive divided by D plus. So true positive is equal to sensitivity into D plus. So sensitivity in this MCQ, how much they have given? They have given as 80% and D plus is 10%, 80% of 10%. That is 8. So true positive is how much? 8. So I will put 8 over here. How much is remaining out of 10? If 8 is gone, obviously derived answer is 2 is remaining on the other hand third use specificity use specificity to find out the true negatives how will you do that specificity is equal to true negatives into divided by true negatives divided by d minus so therefore true negatives is equal to specificity into d minus what is the specificity this question has given us just look at the screen the specificity this question has given us is 90 percent into 90 so how much is the answer 81 so of course i am going to write 81 here the derived answer is 
9 which is pending so now your box is there in front of you so now you calculate the ppv do not do this mistake do not do this mistake this is the most common mistake people do that uh, what is the probability of person tested positive is actually disease so they'll find out the sensitivity or specificity or they'll calculate the errors in that that's not the correct way you need to do the make the table you need to find out the ppv and then you find the chances of getting two ppvs at the same time so what is the chance of getting the ppv what is the ppv now so ppv can now be given as 8 over 8 plus 9 is uh, 17 8 by 17 would be roughly equal to 0.5 so i'm not going using a calculator so what i have done in my brain is i have just seen the specificity is 90 percent so specificity is 90 so two negatives would be how much 90 percent of uh, prevalence that is 10 percent 100 minus 10 is 90 so 90 percent of the 90 is 81 so remaining is 9 and uh, then i just make a box in my brain so 8 by 17 i get the answer as 0.5 so what is the ppv one time that is 0.5 what is the chances of getting two ppvs so two ppv will be 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 i hope you remember from the rules of probability that chance of getting the probability ppv this time and chance of getting the same ppv in the next time so you want in the first event ppv and the second event you need to multiply the probabilities so that is 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 that is 0 0.25